showing you what we can do And we're gonna make it to the top We're gonna give it all we got It's our time to shine It's sip and speak the tea with d and Hello everyone Hello. out there What's Hello, happening world. everybody I'm back <laughs> Shout out to you Well, welcome to Sip and Speak the Tea with D&D. I'm Denise. And I'm Danette. <laughs> and I'm K.Y. What's up, what's up, what's up? We're All coming right. to you from Milwaukee. Yeah. And what flavor tea do we have today besides the hot tea we have for you guys? Yeah, girl. This is going to be hot, hot. I'm sipping on a little okay. something called uh, Perfectly Mint. <laughs> Perfect, perfectly mint. Let's try this perfectly mint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there. Mm. That's there. That's there. That's there. That's there. Minty, 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 minty. But it yeah. tastes good. I suggest you guys try it. Perfectly mint. Yeah. Not today. If you like mint, you will, you will love that. Yes. If you're a good mint, yeah, love Most mint. Definitely. Suggest you try it out there. It's pretty good. Now, today, ooh, we have some hot tea. We have Courtney Wayne, Country Wayne. We have, <laughs> you know I'll be cutting up names. Uh, we have the Simpsons prediction. And we have a couple things that's going on in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, pump your brakes with these car crashes. Yeah, yes. Most um, definitely. And also, we have uh, body parts, you know, turn up and different areas in Milwaukee. Yes. And a critically missing young girl, oh well young lady I should say, that hopefully, I mean I, you know, put prayers out there that it's not her body parts. Yes. And we also mm. hey y'all, US we have a squatter problem. Yes, we do. Yes. A huge Huge so, problem. Let's get started. Um, Basically, we, we just got a lot going on for y'all today, man. It's it's going to be some serious stuff. It's going to be some stuff you probably seen on your Instagram, but more, more so anything, we are here to give you the facts that we know and alleged, and it's for entertainment purposes only. And educational. Yes. And educational. Yes, all alleged. In our opinions as well. Of course, our opinions. opinions. Yes. <laughs> yeah, easy. girl. Because don't we have some opinions? Yes. You as well that. as you guys. <laughs> right, as right, well right, as right, right. Okay, so don't forget to it. like, share, and subscribe. Share, share, and subscribe. Get us out there in that algorithm. Take yes, one second, Joe. That. One do second. That. Do that. So Take we one can second. bring better content to you. Yes. And we will right. we promise we'll work hard yes, for you. Yes, we will. Hit them comments, people. Hit the comments. Come on now. Hit the like button and subscribe, please. Get us out. We indeed. greatly appreciate it. Indeed. We definitely appreciate it. Just one second. It only take one second of your time now, y'all. Right, Come right. On. You know, we would really appreciate if you guys help us to meet our goal because we would love, love, love to reach how many, how many thousands within the next, what, let's say two months? Well, we're going to see what let, you guys let, can do. Yeah. But if we get them a goal, maybe they'll come on with it. I'm just saying, in the next couple of months, man, turn us up. You know what type of time we on, man. It's Sip and that's Speak right. the Tea with D&D. Right. And then right. you got that's Key, right. too. Right. Sip and Speak the D, you know. Sip and Speak the Tea with right. D&D plus Key. Let's go. Let's All right. go. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's get All into right. it. Now, this Simpson prediction... Oh my goodness! You want to start? That K-Y? is crazy, man. Listen, it's it's a crazy thing because I was working at a certain place and I uh I had this one guy. I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if you're comfortable with it. But shout out to you. And he was telling me one day like, bro, the Simpsons knows everything that's going on. And I'm like, man, it's a I'm, it's early as hell. I got here at eleven. It's only twelve o'clock. To me, I'm still early. I'm like, get out of my face with that weird. Man, I don't want to hear that, man. 
like, what you mean? He like, bro, you got to watch The Simpsons. They they said that Donald Trump would be the president before. They said that Kobe Bryant would pass away in a, a helicopter. So he showed me. And sure as thing, nickname, whoop, whoop. It happened just like that. So I'm sitting in the house the other day. You know, the solar eclipse thing happened across the world. This ain't nothing I made up. Right, right. But it's an episode of The Simpsons predicting this. They predicted Kobe Bryant made, made a mamba and Gigi rest they soul in peace. Yes. Um, real right. talk. That, that's serious. That's real talk. Right. That definitely happened. Donald Trump. Then they say, the when you turn, just... You got to peep this little clip. If you ain't seen it, you got to go watch this, y'all. They said Donald Trump, 2024. It's 2024. Like, everything that they ever said from, like, COVID, quarantining, they had to, we was all quarantining and stuff. Yes. Whoever wrote this knew something, they was woke. And um, it's something to pay attention to. Keep your yes, eyes open yes, for it. Really, really, oh, really Oh, my is. goodness. You, do y'all believe I, in that? I, I believe in it. Yeah, how can they have predicted this? Because, I mean, I how mean, do somebody know these and, type and, of things? And the thing about it is not just about, like, like uh, things that's happening in the well like the world and stuff, but, like, with people, like, I was taken back just off of the stuff, like, with the Lady Gaga situation. Like, okay, like... Like, okay, yeah, we have a clip of that. Yes. And it's like her performance for the Super Bowl halftime show. I think that was like in 2017 or something like that. If you go back and look. But it's like identical. Like, what's what's up with that? Like, oh my God. Yes, are they watching it and they're mimicking it? Or it's just... Yeah, because it was like from her, from the performance to the outfit. But then you can it's say they mimicking crazy. stuff, but then you got to look at it like, how did they know our president will really win? How did exactly. they know that? That's, that's true. How did that's they true. know that that's the true. coronavirus, how did they know that Kobe Bryant right. would be unalive that way? Yeah. Exactly. And also about with the white tiger, with, um, C, how do you pronounce that? Siegfried? Siegfried? I yes, can't help Seinfeld? you. I tell names. Or Seifer, Lord, forgive me because I'm chopping it up. What is it? Siegfried. Siegfried and Roy. And they had the um, White Tigers. Everybody know that. And they be performing everywhere, especially in Las Vegas at the Mirage and all. So why they had an analog, Gunter and Ernest, and their White Tiger attacked them. Their White Tiger was Anastasia. Then, like, about 10 years or something later down the line, why did Roy was performing with their Tiger Monocore? And he got attacked exactly. by his white, by the white tiger. And Monocor actually dragged him by his neck off of the stage and was taking him to his cage. So you, and, and people out there, y'all think that that is just a wild guess. Come on, man. It's time to be woke. It's time to be real. These people have been warning us. It's called warning shots, man. We got to pay attention to it. Definitely. Yes. This really just don't do. happen like just that. Pay attention. You really do. And he, you know what's crazy? Because The Simpsons was like my favorite cartoon coming up. Like, The Simpsons? Like the what? The Simpsons you know, too. I used to love, like, dope. Dope. Bart used to get choked. His hair used to be, like, looking like a piece of string cheese. Like, what the hell? <laughs> but the whole time, I'm paying attention as a kid to the comedy mm -hmm. of it. I'm not even understanding the realness, of, the realness of the situation that's at hand that would affect exactly. me. Now that I'm 34 years old, now it affected me. Like, right. damn, that's what they were trying to tell me. Right, but my favorite uh, scene was, she said, Bart, you didn't did it now. <laughs> he said, Marge, I done heard that so many times, it has lost all its meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out okay. to the Simpsons. Yeah, shout out right, to the Simpsons. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's good. You think they gonna keep on predicting and they gonna have some new episodes and they gonna keep predicting? predicting I'm done predicting watching, man. Scary. It's starting to it's make scary. me nervous. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's scary. Getting nervous. It's scary. Getting nervous. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Yeah, Especially if they show some stuff you definitely don't want to see. You be really? like, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> we you, gonna okay. doomsday, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hell, no. A little, stud out of uh, a, little, a little stud out of Milwaukee might pop up. Oh, it's over for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Man. goodness. Mm -mm. Well, moving right along. Yes, yes. Ooh, 
where we have the uh, the country wine. Their country wine. Shout out to country oh, wine. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, shout out to country wine. Uh, he turned down five million dollars. That's kind of mm. hard to do, but I'm kind of glad he did it and staying uh, independent. I, I I appreciate that because yep. you know, yeah. Just like with Tubi, anytime you know. You start getting a big platform and start making a lot of money. Then here comes what, y'all? Corporate. Corp. Yeah. Want to get in on it? Want to get in on it? Snatch it up. Yeah. And um, I think they wanted Snatch to um, up. yeah, they wanted to, um to to get his pa his page, his Facebook page for a year, um, right. and give him five million. And if they anything after that or over that. He would get 75%. 75, cut. yeah. Right. Yes. 75%. Yeah, the money sounds good, but you know, that's a big chance because there's a lot of loopholes too. And mm -hmm. you know, what if they mess this page up? You know, or you know what I'm saying? And right, that page right. wouldn't be no good after a year. You know, I, that right. he, he would have took a big chance, and I'm glad he turned that money down. Shout out to right. Country Wayne. Yeah, that's great because right. check it out. You know how many people would have went for that? Yeah, look how much. You know how many people would have went for that? They would have been like five mil. You could have just said one million. And they would have yeah. went for it. It's a lot of people who have so, done it, oh and their yes. life has been ruined and yeah. money too. Sell a soul. Sell yes, a soul. Exactly. Exactly. So. You know, and, and another thing I like about Country Wayne is like the humbleness of him. You know, he he a man with a lot of kids on his Nick Cannon NBA Young Boy type of time. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he honor the role that he plays and he respect people and any time that he got anything since his career has took a a plus because right. see most people so used to people trying right. and not like succeeding that they get used to that that ain't the everyday form like dude show like from where they from like down south ain't easy like people yes. don't even take those people serious like they barely take us here from the midwest you know what i'm saying yes and yeah. everybody that he ever cared about or supported him, he didn't only look out for them, but he employed them, meaning I'm not going to make you lazy because I'm successful, but I'm also right. not going to make you starve because exactly. I'm right. successful. Exactly. And right, right. that's real man behavior. That's real people behavior. And you got billionaires yeah. that can help a person humble, and won't. Exactly. And mm -hmm. I really give shout out to Country Wayne and Put then his off. platform, man. Right. Like he he did a lot, man. He do a lot, and he did say he something too. Back. I'm not gonna he lie; I can't back. quote it like word for word. But Country Wayne, if you somewhere out here watching this, paying attention, because I'm showing sure at you after this show, my boy. Um, you said it like if you go to the table with a plate, you would do anything to eat, and I got to get my own because if I don't, I know I'm finna get pimped. And to be truthfully honest, it take a real human not to take advantage of you and they know your situation. Yes. Exactly. And I respect that respect a thousand. Yes. And, and, and Country Wayne, exactly. don't at me, man, because I'm finna at you. I probably didn't say it exactly how, but I understood the assignment, man, and that's yes. what it do. And like right. people where we come from, we don't always get the chance to talk. Like people say he was, they noticed him off of Shannon Sharp. How dare you say that about that man? That man been doing that before he did that interview. He's been a goat. Oh, for sure. Mm. So just give that, give people they roses on they can smell him. And shout out to Country Wayne and everybody he come from and he take care of them kids. So that's what he do. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, next, um, you want to talk about what's going on in Milwaukee? Mm. What's not going on in Milwaukee? Milwaukee, pump your blade brakes, please. You know Sad. these crashes, this speeding. You know people using the cars as weapons. It, it's sad. It said actually the a car is too a many, too yes. many lost lives. And um especially oh it just breaks my heart with these babies. I yes. mean every every life it is it's just heartbreaking. But these these babies and you know, I don't know, some of these people they don't even care. They don't even have the remorse. And it's crazy how the ones that are at fault and is doing all this crazy driving 
after they crash, they get up and can run away. Mm. <laughs> they the ones that get up and run. The for majority. most of the part, for the majority. Yes. The majority, not all, but the majority, they get up and run. But, you know, y'all guys, um, back in the day, you know, the cars were made out of metal. Y'all remember that? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I looked up, yeah. I, I know, because I was hearing that the cars now are made out of fiberglass. I looked it up. Yes, it is. It's made yeah, out of fine material glass. Y'all know how delicate that is. <gasps> when we, when, well, back in the day when it was made out of metal, you know, we get fender benders, you know, barely get dented. You know yeah. what I'm right. saying? But now the whole car pops, you know. One little little bump, it pops the whole front end, back end, or whatever have you, or the a whole nice dent. car mm -hmm. crumbles. And that's not that's no protection for us. You know, I, we need to go back to metal. And yeah, how crazy is, is that? The the cars are made cheaper, but yet you paying more money. It, yes. Yeah, that's but true you too. know what? That's America for you because we do everything backwards. You ask me. Yeah, you definitely right about that. Everything is backwards in this world. He get charged I, I, with. It's, it's crazy. It's you, craziness. We had two accidents. Uh, bad fatal accidents on brown deer and cervite, man, within three months from each other. You know, and... Right, people losing their lives. Losing it's their sad. And just had one on Monday, Monday night. Yes. Where the, it was a, I think, or I believe it was like a five or six year old that was in the vehicle that was struck. And wow. all of them were being treated for serious injuries. And the one driver that uh, actually struck the other vehicle, that person was unalive. You're talking about uh, on the Fond du Lac and on Hampton? On the Lac and Hampton accident on Monday night. <sighs> yes, they even saying that they call capital... K capital, and it's sad. Man. It's sad. It's sad, people. It's, it's too much. You know, I, it's too much. I say we I need know, to man. somehow. I don't know how we can, you know, get this started where we can, you know, shout out and say we want metal back. Like because it, it it's it's due to both situations. They should use better things to make sure the person is protected. That's why a lot of people don't believe in seatbelts. Because if you look it up, seatbelts have actually on a lot of more people than it actually helped because it kept them from doing what they thought they could do. But, well, I don't know because wouldn't that help you too? Like from the when the airbags deploy because that has injured a lot of people. Um, if you go too hard, like when it when it deploy. And if you go into it, like if you're not wearing a, a seat belt, it'll probably do you more harm because your body and the airbag, you kind of coming in with one another versus if you got your seat belt on. But with a seat belt, your body got to retract. You got to throw your body for the seat belt to react anyway. Yeah. So it's still going to be the same type of effect. I yeah. was put in but a position. But then again, you could go through the windshield or something too, depending on the impact. So you got to look at that because you can get um, ejected. So I think the seat belt is, for, especially for children, but you know, in the car seats and stuff, because if it's a hard enough impact and people do get ejected from vehicles. Oh yes, I ain't no crash expert, but I will say this. I was held out a window on the highway when I was a baby in 1989. Kiavi Yasatiz Johnson, 1989 baby slain. Well, mother can really get his whole story. Um, I'm lucky to be here. Someone held me out the window due to their ignorance. And um, I always tell people, you don't need to drive for yourself. You got to drive for the people oh, around drive. you. Yeah. Cause like it's things right. can happen at any. Don't I, I'm pretty sure any unaliving that happened, any accidents happening, some people don't really honestly mean it. It just happened that way. But at the end of the day, that don't got nothing to do with the price and tea in China. Slow down. Yeah. Slow down, cause you know what? Slow it's some down. people that had plans for today that didn't make it, man. Pump Due to right. driving too fast, miles per hour, and, and drive, you know, according to the rules of the road. You know, stop going through red lights and stop signs. You know how many? Oh my God, fatal crashes because of running the red light and not stopping at, at a sign. You know, I, I'd rather it's, get it's, there it's late crazy. than not get there yeah. at all. Say that again. What yes. you said, TT. Uh, yeah. Um, I was in a position where uh, 
And you, uh, you used to own uh, Maxwell Transport, and two guys were racing early in the morning. I had a couple of kids on there. And when the air, uh, because uh, when the airbag deployed, it had me in this one position, and then the pole, light pole, came, um, you know, came down. And it could have, you know, really messed me up, you know, because it had me in that one position. Thank God, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy you yeah, still here. Happened. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Actually, I went unconscious. So when I woke up, you know the, how they put you. I don't know what what you call that. Where it, it looks like a casket. What what is that? Um, the the is CT scan. CT, or something? No, oh. the MRI. Yeah, yeah MRI. MRI. I thought they buried me alive. I I, I woke up it. in there. I'm like, I woke up. I said, I'm alive. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dead. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. They said, I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm alive. I said, uh, they said, do not move. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought they did. <laughs> That'd be scary. Oh my, in there. Yeah, that was a scary situation because I woke up in there. You know what I'm saying? But people, slow down the pump. Please the brakes, pump you know? your brakes, man. And, and um, yeah. our condolences yeah. goes out to the families yes. of the victims. Yes. You know, um, we really do hope that it's nothing we can say, but we are here. Anybody need us, we will come through. Um, yeah, it, it's it's tragic, but. I hope that y'all get through it and God help y'all find a way. I still say Amen. we should go back to metal. Oh, I definitely say that. All yeah, right. let's start yeah. doing something to help. All righty yeah. then. Moving yeah. along. Right, right. Let's talk about the human body parts. Whoa. That has been found in four different locations, people. Yes. Oh my God! And I don't, th and I, I don't know if they made the connections yet. Have they? I Not haven't yet. heard that they have. No, and like it no. hasn't been identified, right, or nothing. Now, but I think for the the human leg that was found in Cudahy, they have a person of interest. Okay, but yes. he's just the person of interest. So I don't know what that means. So that means like he may still get off from that. Like he's not an actual suspect. Or is that in a line of of a suspect? I, I guess it's a different Senate though, right? Yes. Do, you care to so elaborate? Do you do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, anyone out there know? If you know, hit them comments. You know, hit them comments. You know you uh, you know until okay. I know for a fact, I won't react. <laughs> Okay. Right. By the way, we couldn't go live today because uh, you it's on YouTube side, so we correct we are correct pre recording today. I wish we could have went live so we could have got calls and call ins or comments. So. Okay. But what I will say but is don't forget to leave your comments after the They after always the say a serial killer in every state is recreated. And I just feel like this is the new Jeffrey Dahmer if you're talking about like people being Decapitated, cause wow. I mean I just can't think of what nobody could do to make me that mad to cut their thigh off. And then it's time consuming. Who does, who does this that? Oh. So I just want to say I hope it's nobody that that's missing. I want to say that I'm gonna put that out there for the sip and speak the tea family. I don't want that to be the case. Right. And but let's not act like this don't happen in our world, y'all. Right. So right. we gotta stay woke. Keep your kids in the house. Right, and I'm and I'm praying that it's not the um, critically missing nineteen year old yes. Shade Robinson. Our hearts, our hearts go out to you in prayers. Yes, it does. In prayers it for um, Shade Robinson. Yeah. And here she yes, is. man, that's crazy. Beautiful, Beautiful young lady. Beautiful yes. young lady. Oh Lord. That's Lord, crazy, please. man. You know, and it's it just messed up, man. Like, it just, just is bogus, man. I hope that little girl come home, man. She's such a beautiful young, young lady. Yes. Looks like she got a whole bright future ahead of her. Now, they found her car was burnt completely up, and then they laid her blanket out, like, and I don't know if that was the field or they actually had found her blanket that was spread out, um, Somewhere wow. one of the near the, one of the locations, I believe. The um, devil is a lie. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Bring that baby so, home. Right, and they have found body parts of like near thirty first and Walnut, thirty first and Galena, and thirtieth and Lisbon, yes. as well as in Cudahy. 
So I I, I don't I, I don't get it, but you know, you hear about it a lot that people dismember, you know, these the body and put them in trash bags or put them in suitcases or duffel bags and they got pieces over here and pieces over there. <sighs> it's, right. it's just sickening, it's, man. It's, it's just yes, sickening. It we live in a sick world. We live sick in a very world. sick world. And you know what? So evil. It's getting worse. Yes, it's it not is. It's getting so any evil. better. It, yes. Everything in today's, everything is getting <coughs> worse. Yes. What is going on with the United States and the government? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's been going on with them? <laughs> I'm I like mean, T.I. I'm when have, now. When it's going to have to be some. It's gonna, some <laughs> where the change is going to come from? Okay. Where, where, where the change is going to come from? Talking about the senators and the mayors and the governors. Come on now. Okay. Name a time America ever been great. So we can't be all acting surprised again. It's something that gave you for face value. You have to figure out your plot in your lane and just go through with right. it because we're not going to, you can't change the world. We can't, no. we can't change the world. No. We just got to, I guess they, they trying to. we can help for people who have the power and there's people out here with power. Yes, you can advocate. Instead of that being community. so wicked, instead of doing the, the job of the devil, why don't you do the job of God? But you know what I learned? And give back and do right. In life, I learned the prettiest people do the ugliest things. Man. So it don't really yeah. make it. It don't make it seem like. That's why I be telling people, like, it don't even just be the devil. Like, the prettiest people do the ugliest things. Andre Three Sounds and did say this. Roses even smell like boo-boo. <laughs> and on Valentine's Day, everybody want roses. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Rose. <laughs> Rose is smelling like boo boo. You better huh, listen to oh the song. My goodness. I, I'm gonna oh, give y'all the song when we get up when out they, of here. When they become unallowed, no, I like the smell of roses. It don't smell like boo boo to me. Yeah, <laughs> I must be missing on that one. But, <laughs> oh no, but you know what? We we just gotta come together, and we it's just gotta be so many changes that's that's needed. And I don't know where to begin, and it just seemed like. For the people who don't have much, such as us, you know. Everybody has to do their part. Everybody has to do their part. But it, when you have more to give and can do more, and those people who have that choose not to or they don't, for some. Uh, that's not everyone. That's just for some. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just think for people, there are so many more people who don't have exactly. the means or they don't have what it takes and, and can give, All right. but they have the heart and they want to, and they have that desire Facts. they want to, you know, and cause I look at us, I, I think that if we were sitting higher in a better position, I know, oh, definitely. you know, we, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we want to heal the community. We want to, exactly. you know, bring peace and, more love and just and yeah, if we ever you know, changes. when we get there and we will do more for the community we and yes you know, book bag school giveaways yes, we will. all that we see, will see the thing about it is is when you know your heart is already thinking like that you don't even got a question is you gonna get there god gonna make you make it right, right. that's just all that's is about I see because right. the bible the bible stands for this basic Come instructions on, before leaving earth Mm -hmm. That's like buying a remote. Some people don't know how to work a remote, so you got to read the manual. It's certain things you got to read. At the end of the day, God's not telling you to do everything he said do, but try to get oh, close yeah. to it because all you exactly. need is faith big as a mustard seed. Because half of us in this world, half of us in this world is robbing Peter to pay Paul and still owe Steve. It's that's the fact right. that you care enough to even think if I had something, I would do this. And most of the people that wanted to have more, they still do when they got less. And that's all that matters. Yes. All right. All right. Moving along. U.S., we have a squatter problem. <laughs> Man. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um... A couple of incidents happened in New York where this woman, Adele, um, she decided to clean out her mom's apartment. You know, you know, she needed time. You know, you know, she's grieving. And then she decided, no, now was the time. I think that was a million dollar home. Mm. And some squatters um, took it over. 
Um, and she got arrested. Yeah. She got arrested. Um, yes, she did, she did uh, contact like ABC 7 News um, and decided to change the locks, but she had it filmed. And then she, and she actually got arrested trying she to change her arrested. own locks. You she know, and, it, and it's sad. <clears throat> How? Because these the squatter rights are designed to uh, protect the... Um, protect the um, tennis and this one here she um it's just sad um they unalived her here with nadia yeah they unalived her wow the, people here. the squatters the unalived squatters. the home home yeah. owner they said nadia flew to new york to clean her late mom's apartment when she was discovered that two squatters had already moved in the two squatters with Haley tejada and Kinsley Austin allegedly beat her to death and then proceeded to stuff her body in the duffel bag in, in New York. Illegally, squatters became the legal tenants after 30 days of living there. Wow. Right. Yes. Now, let me ask you this. Wow. Now, let me ask you this. I, I, I just got to gotta get put this question out here. Okay. Now, this is just how backwards and screwed up America is in my Now, let me just say this. Am I wrong... But for a squatter, first of all, one, you're trespassing. Second, you're breaking and entering. Facts. So is that not criminal? Not according to the to the law. Okay, but listen to this. You mean to tell me y'all skip those violations, those criminal acts? And turn around because they've been there maybe more than 30 days or whatever, and say, well, you can have the common law. You have your squatter rights. Oh my! So, but goodness. but you look over the first two violations. I I don't get that. Those are criminal acts. Like how do you look over the trespasser? How do you look over the enter breaking and entering? Someone's I, I don't home. Get it. And I, I wonder where did it all start from squatter rights? I didn't learn it till it happened to my auntie, but um. It came from the 1800s when people were rapidly moving to the West and then the settlers uh, and then they passed the law in 1862 and they allowed settlers to get 160 acres for free. And but there was stipulations to it were two rules. One, they would have to build a house on it, the land. Two, they would have to, you know, grow crop for at least five years but then it didn't go as planned because uh, i think they was waiting for like this train i mean to build this train to come through for more settlers and then these people that moved in the land they didn't know how to farm or nothing, nothing like so that. they abandoned it but that law mm -hmm. still stayed in effect but um this is happening all over the world in right. georgia this woman uh got arrested for trying to change her locks when she found out the squatters was in there did you know uh, okay. This was a house now, that was passed down to her. Right. So, um, my, my, my question would be, too, will all the progression and, you know, advancement and technology and everything, why are we still living by the 1800s? They never, I, I, I guess, I, it never would change. Why, why haven't that law, why haven't that been changed by now? Exactly. I, I don't get it. But you help see, me to understand, America. Did you see? Uh, I don't get it. This uh, person, he he got he got banned off of TikTok. He was telling the people that they crossed the border and stuff. He was like, "Come <laughs> on, come on, there's teaching a law. Them. You can take over our houses." He was telling this. He yeah, was telling teaching the them, yeah, teaching them, teaching them, teaching them, them what they squat. can do. So you, you got all houses. these people coming, <laughs> coming across the border, coming from other countries. And they know what to do. They know how to squat, how to get into homeowners, get into their property, to be able to take their property over. Exactly. And I learned about it about 30, well, no, 25 years ago when uh, my auntie let this young lady stay with her and her son. And then um, 
she was only supposed to stay there for that month. And then she told her, you know, hey, you know, you only pulled to be here for a month, you know, you know, get step to it, you know, find your place. And she decided she was going to stay. And then uh, my auntie said, uh, you got to go. You just got to go. So we was like, we was trying to talk to her and say, mm -hmm. look, my aunt don't want you she here. Did, right. So we said. We gonna call the police on her. She said she wasn't going nowhere. Obviously, she knew about these squatter rights. So we called the police, and then they said, "Oh, she got squatter rights." We said squatter, squatter rights. rights. <laughs> squatter rights. Yeah. And she made my auntie life a living hell. And yes, that's what did. they do because they know they can do it. She did. They know they can do it, and they can get away with it. And I, 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 I just don't get it. All and, I can say is. As a homeowner, for you to protect yours, what are you going to do? Put up barbed wire, uh, electrical fences. That's not going to stop And them. Well. I don't know electrical yeah, fences because that might fry. That might, like, <laughs> it, it might be against the law if one of them well, get fried. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, they'd be protected, My, but how can you keep them from trespassing? So it's like everybody be careful because they're going to be lurking in your backyard and they're going to be peeping in and creeping and creep right on up in y'all vacant house. So uh, Y'all better watch out. So, so y'all that'll be down on Locust who be always asking me for some move to New York, you can squat. Well, that you can do it here. I it's mean, it's everywhere. all over. It's, That's it's why I'm everywhere. saying everywhere. It's people, a big problem here. You need to find out about these rights. This is a broad, a bro, it's so much information on this. It's, yes, it is. Y'all need yes, to investigate. If you have any property or land, you need You're to right. really. That you want to protect. Yes. Yes, and it was like a couple of things that you can do, which is expensive, but it's worth it. Um, set up cameras, you know, and um, then some people, uh, they suggested uh, to get a good lawyer so, right. you know, they know these laws. And then they're suggesting that uh, you get security guards 24 hours. That's real expensive, yes, though, right, to, right. to keep your property. But I, I think crazy. the object of it is, too, you need to catch the people like if they get into your property you need to catch them in a timely manner yes you do so because it's, it's some 30 days okay. yeah but i would actually say you need to catch them within within 10 five days catch them within five days of course because you don't want to get them no kind of ground exactly you know what i'm saying because if you stay some I'm stay in your house 30 days legally yeah. they stay if they get a piece yeah. of mail that come they there can. they can give you hell Oh yeah, yeah. In some states like California, uh, in seven years if they pay the taxes, they can yeah. take it over. Yes, yeah. ma'am. You know it's theirs. And for you landowners, you need to you need to find the laws. Yeah. You know, find out that uh, find out what these laws yeah. is because they're terrible. it's getting bad. It's getting bad. And they're taking over. And I even have a story. Whoa, do I? Um, mm -hmm. like we clean our houses and stuff. Me and my ex and um, uh, we had went to uh, we had got an order to clean out this house and the door was locked and it, the key didn't work and we called and then he said somebody didn't change these locks so he you no know, he, he he actually took that door off put another door on so we uh we in there right and he got those two guys where we was in or like me and my ex was in the back. And uh, we had a worker in the house. He come running out. Oh, they didn't pull a pop out. They told us to get out of there. They had took someone's money. And it's a shame they do a family like this. This woman had children. They took half of her money. And she was meeting them there for the other half in the keys. And they had to get rid of us. And, um, and they was willing to hurt us. To get us out the way. That's ridiculous. And he took this woman's money. She's out of money. And she's out of a house. Yeah. Out of a care. home, man. They don't care. That's just bogus, man. That's and then they tear it, tearing up these owners' property. Oh, yeah. Oh, they do that. No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> and in New York. Strip this, them down. This, the, let me tell you, in New York, they, uh, another incident in New York, this guy had rented this house to these people. And when the lady found out somebody was squatting in her house, they said this guy named Rodriguez, the one who they paid the rent to, said he owned it. Do you know he told the owner to give him 18000 and then he'll get rid of the squatters and stuff but for his repairs? <laughs> his repairs <laughs> he put on her house. <laughs> How much he get? 
He said he did some plumbing, some electricity work. You got zero. <laughs> zero. And he took her door off and changed the locks, and he won eighteen thousand. And how the much he get? The Z doll. I don't know. Zero. He shouldn't get anything. He should get jail time. Exactly. He should. Exactly. Uh, zero. Yeah, the nerve. So. But that's just how backward United States is. People be aware. It's, it's getting it's, worse it's and crazy. worse. Getting crazy out here, y'all. It's crazy. Man, so. you better take a look at the signs of the time. Mm -hmm. The signs of the time, y'all. Okay, do y'all have be anything aware, else y'all want to talk about? Be aware. Um, I just want to say, man, everybody drive safe. Um, that, that's one of the biggest things with me because um, the lady who was unalive on Servite in Brown Deer, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, I knew her. She was a neighbor. She, my mother yes. bought a house, and um, she was she was a very great lady. I mean, dope chick, bomb lady. Um, I don't want to say her name or nothing because I don't know how friendly it feels. I know it's a touchy subject. But I do want y'all to know from Sip and Speak to Tea with D&D, a.k.a. Added Key, we got number love for y'all, and yes. I never forget one day she's riding through, and she she got my dream car. It's a Camaro, but I wanted all black one. She got the burnt orange one, beautiful black top. She dropped it one day. I'm like, man, that's my dream car. I'm, I'm always speaking to people. I'm a people person, and uh, she rode through the lot, and then it was like 30 minutes. I was still sitting back outside. She came back. She put me in the car with her, and she drove off slow and took me up because it's a one way now there. And she brought me back down kind of quick, and she let me back out. She was like, how you like that? I was like, man, you don't know what you just did for me. And um, I said that to say you never know why God had people do certain things for you or bring certain people in your life. She wasn't in my life for like a lifetime. It was just a lifetime, but she definitely was amazing, um, big on fashion, really good parent. just a great neighbor in general. And I would say you would truly be missing a rest-up queen. And... um. Drive slow, y'all. Slow down, man. Because some people that have plans for today didn't make it, man. And right. got to do better. That's all yes. I want to say. That's and rest right. up to you. Exactly. Yeah. Slow down and drive, you know, um, abide by the rules of the road. You know what I'm saying? Stop when you need to stop. Yield when you need to yield. And before I get off the topic, the craziest part about it is her house. She was one minute, literally, away from her house. Mm, and they say mm, that's mm. how most deaths happen. Mm. Wow. And God take the best people. But I know her people ain't understanding it right now. But she was a queen. And, again, I want to just say it one more time. Rest up, Angel. And um, I wish your family the best. And uh, if y'all ever need anything, we here. Yeah. Yes. Have our condolences. Yes. Our sympathy and our condolences. Or... <clears throat> For her and for all other lives lost. Yes. You know, in such a tragic such way. Such a tragedy. Yes, and people... <sighs> My book, The Untold Story, The One That Got Away, please support... I wrote the book from my childhood to my teens and adulthood, and I came across a serial killer that unalived a lot of women. And I wrote it for my children, their children, where their moms were on the line, and the women that lost their lives. This is a good read, people. I hope you it support. definitely is. And I hope I, if I can help one person, I have done my job. I, and I hope I can help someone that may be in that position or and these red, red flags. Uh, you know, I just hope I can help someone. And that's why I wrote the book. So I hope you please support. The it's, one it's, that got away. Life. This is yes. a great read, y'all. Turn it up, it man. Is. It's her it's, life. Yes. It's a true story. Yes, and of her life. And it's and at Walgreens, Amazon, Some Barnes series. and Noble. It's all over. So please, please, people, support. And please support this channel. Yes. Please oh, like, yes. share, and comment. Indeed. And subscribe, please. And get us out there in the algorithm so we can do our, a better job for, for you. you. Definitely for you. And we you. promise we will do a better job. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, hit us up, people. Hit us up. Hit us up. And know that you know this is a a, a safe place. You know, everyone has a story. Yes. You know, so and we welcome you. Yes. We welcome you to share share your we need story. Need you Safe place, safe space to tell your, your story. story. Definitely. Don't hold that garbage in. That it destroys you from the inside out. And it's oh, yeah. good therapy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Did y'all right. like our song? We played that song because yeah. the one who sing that song, she's some kin to us, Ellie, and we are hoping to have her on this show. Let's yeah. go. Yes. 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 She is yes. such a great artist. She, she really is. She yes. has a beautiful voice. She has a beautiful voice. Oh, my voice. God. Hopefully, I love her music, y'all. Just Ellie. check yes. her out. Check her out on Spotify. Yes. Um. Uh, what is that? The YouTube. I think she's yes, on the YouTube, YouTube and all that. Check so her out on all check platforms. Out. Ellie Allen, y'all, yes. listen to that music, cause y'all love her. I'm telling you. Let's oh. go. Yes, yeah. yeah. Ellie. Okay, we'll um. Real quick, I want to do a celebrity shout out. I chose Chance the Rapper because of Courtney Wayne being so independent. And he came you out swinging. I mean, country. country. Wayne. <laughs> Why do I keep You got right. it, TT. You saw okay. good. It's country all good. Wayne. Country, just, Wayne. Oh, country, country Wayne. Wayne. I'm sorry. What I they said know. Friday, players fuck up. Players fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Country Wayne. I be cutting names up. So I am so sorry. A chess rapper, he was born in Chicago, April 16, 1993. He gave one million to Chicago schools and his charity, which is Social Works, um, to and would and Social Works would give ten thousand dollars for every additional hundred thousand that ha that would be raised. Okay, he's yeah. done his part to combat. Pow pow violence in his hometown and raise money to put coats on kids' backs and to bring technology upgrades to the schools, among other endeavors. So, shout out to Chance. Man, man shout okay. out to Chance the Rapper, man. Windy City, that's our neighbors, man. Yes, yes. Chance. Give it back Chance. Right. Chance the like Rapper. Yeah. I, had yeah. so I ain't gonna play no games. Chance do be getting up. All right. Okay, y'all. Let's get into a little motivation, inspiration. All right. Have y'all missed the motivation? Yeah, they did. Well, so let's go. go, 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 go. And this is always lift yourself up. Let me say that again, y'all. Did y'all hear me out there? Always lift yourself up. Ooh. Always lift yourself up. Oh, did I say that right? Always lift yourself up. Hey. And find your inspiration. Bring out the best in you. Be the winning sensation. The pen is in your hands. You can write your own you can write your own story. Build your world with positivity and reach for the glory. Yes, reach. Hey, the skies is the limit, y'all. It's one thing my mama go taught me. It, go for it. Shout out to my OG, too. I love you, mama. We on TV now. <laughs> no, for real, though. Let's go. go, 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 go. She always yeah. taught me proper preparation going to prevent poor performance, so we never going to properly perform because we always going to prepare ourselves. That's All it, right. my 